So what Metrotech does, our secret sauce, is that we take any traffic camera that's been backhauled to a traffic TMC and we convert it into a traffic sensor. So in Santa Clara County, where we've been deployed for the past three years, we track 3.1 million turning movements a day, and they actually run their signal and timing patterns based upon the real-time traffic data that's generated at the lane level. What does that mean? Is that we take any camera and we, we count at the lane level the speed, the headway, the flow, the capacity of the vehicles transiting across that intersection or on that um, corridor, roadway. And so with that data set now, we're able to record the history of traffic data at the lane level with 95 plus percent accuracy, something no one has ever been able to do. A company like Nokia here right now is being sold for $4 billion. And there's studies that I can show you that show that their data set is only 50% accurate. Companies like TomTom and Enrix want to license our data set because it helps make their data set better. Because we're actually leveraging the fixed infrastructure of the government to generate that traffic data. And so we use the traffic cameras, generate it, and then we can also take in all the other sensor types that the government's already working with into our partnership with OSI. And so that's where once we turn the camera into sensor data, we then publish that data to OSIsoft. OSIsoft is a company been around 30 years. They specialize in the oil and gas and infrastructure industries. They're now moving into Internet of Things and smarter cities, which is where Metrotech plays. And so we founded a great partnership with them and OSI and, and Esri so that we can go out there and OSI's platform is to basically manage the sensor network and analyze the sensor network. And so with all the cameras that we've turned into sensors and all the other ITS sensors that we bring in, we then use the OSI platform to monitor, measure, and analyze that data set. Then from there, we use the Esri platform to publish that data to the traffic management centers and also to companies like TomTom, Nokia here, Enrix, and the end consumers so that they can have real-time traffic data at their fingertips as opposed to the delayed data that you get from Enrix or Nokia here today. Currently using, we've got five major deployments across the country, and um, we also have interest internationally as well. We've got, um, you know, with this product launch and this new product set that we've launched, we're building, uh, we're getting a lot of channel partner support from both Esri as well as OSI to start selling into their existing client base, which is one of the reasons we chose to build on their platform, because there's been a lot of first generation technologies built in the in the ITS space, the intelligent transportation space, but it's all like internet 1.0 stuff and so we're taking all of that legacy technology and essentially migrating it to a scalable cloud-based platform that can then be the real-time management center to control these um, traffic management centers. Yeah, so our solutions are all custom, but all of our applications or modules are all available through the ArcGIS marketplace. And so what happens is when a client wants to integrate with us, we install video analytics appliance inside of their network that does the conversions, and then all the data gets pumped out and up into our Pi Cloud ArcG server, and then from there it gets published out to the rest of the world. Oh, great. Uh, thank you very much for your interest today. Thanks for the time. Stephen Jasmine with Metrotech.